What up? I'm Baker, and we're about to learn some boat terms. One of the first things you're going to want to learn when you start living and working on a boat full-time is boating terminology and lingo. Moving onto a boat is almost like moving to a foreign country in the sense that everything works a little bit differently and everyone is speaking a different language. For any task at hand, you're going to be given instructions for where to go and what to do, and at first you're going to be like, I have no idea what that means. Now I don't want to overload y'all with too much information, so I'm just going to cover the basics that are pretty crucial in the beginning, like sections of the boat and other common terms you'll need to know. So I wish that I could just walk around a boat and point to things and tell you what they're called, but I'm not working on a boat at the moment, so in the meantime I found this little toy on Amazon and it'll have to do for now. So let's start with the exterior. Right here in the front section, you call this the bow, and then the back section here you call the stern, and then right here in the middle, the midship. Now if I'm standing on the bow looking forward, this right half right here is called starboard, and then the left half is called port. And one way to help you to remember that is that the words port and left both have four letters. So yeah, that's pretty important stuff right there to know. And uh, enough of this guy, I have some pictures to look out for the rest of the terms. So as you're approaching the boat, you'll be looking at the hull. Then you'll board it by walking up either the passerelle or the boarding ladder. But make sure you take off your shoes first. At that point, you'll be standing on either the aft deck or the transom, which is also known as the swim platform. As you walk towards the bow or the front of the boat, you'll notice these metal cleats on the deck. There will be lines tied around them, mooring or securing the boat to the dock. The deck will likely be either teak, which looks like this, or non-skid, which is rough and feels like sandpaper so you don't slip. Then you'll make it to the front or the bow of the boat. If you turn around, you'll be looking at the pilot house or the wheelhouse. Walk on behind that and there may be another deck, which we call the boat deck because our inflatable boat was stowed there. Then at the tippy top, there may be another deck called the flybridge. You'd be feeling so fly if you're chilling up there. So now we'll check out the interior. We'll start with the galley, which is the kitchen. Then we'll head down to the crew quarters, which is where the crew kicks it during downtime. Down there, you'll find your crew cabin, which is your room. It may look something like this, and you'll likely share it with one or two other people, as well as your head, which is your bathroom. Now the guest accommodations are a lot nicer. This is a stateroom. Their head may look a little something like this. Their main lounge area is called a salon. It's usually located on the main deck and looks something like this or this. There may be another lounge or chill spot on the upper deck, which is called the sky lounge. The Sky Lounge is usually located aft of the pilot house or the wheelhouse where all of the navigation gear is located. This is where all the magic happens. From the pilot house, you can control the engines, which are located down in the engine room. Down there, you'll also find the control room full of enough mechanical instruments to make a diva's head spin. Let's get out of there for now and head to the Lazarette. This is a compartment located in the back of the boat, usually used to store fun things like water toys and whatnot. You may tow a smaller boat along with the yacht called a tender. Or it may be called an inflatable or a dinghy if that's more relevant. And you'll definitely get well acquainted with the fenders which prevent the boat from rubbing against the dock or the pilings which are the big pole looking things sticking out of the water. The space for exterior storage is called a locker, 
and in the interior is called a bilge. All right, that's enough terms for now. I could go on and on, but I don't want you to suffer from information overload. For a full glossary of boat terms and lingo, go to the full blog post called Yachty Diva Training at wakeandmake.com, where there's all types of info to help you get a job on a yacht. Also, if you like this video, click subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, holla at ya, girl.